Today we'll make this cool effect on our Elementor website. So when you reload this page, you can see this cool entrance animation and after hovering on this, you can see the beautiful hover effect. So without any further ado, let's get started. So inside this blank page, first of all we need to take a new container and make it to full width and full height. Make its overflow to hidden so the content inside will not exit this container. And also remove this default padding so make it to zero. By the way, if you don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to get this thing as a ready made template, you can also get it from my template shop. And currently, the Black Friday offer is running on our website where you will get all the creative templates with a huge 75% discount. Now back to the video. Now inside this first we need to create the top part. So let's drag an another container for that and also make it to full width. And as we want to place the content horizontally, so make its direction to row and align items to center. And let's also set a padding. Inside this now let's take an heading widget and also an text editor and quickly design them. And for this heading, let's make its width to 50% and for this one. 430 pixel. Now for the bottom part, we also need to take an another container. So let's drag it to here. And if we open the structure panel, from here let's drag it to the right place. Now inside this, we need to create some rows. And inside each row, we will create two cards. So for that row, let's add the container. And inside that, let's drag that another container and make its width to 50%. And here as we want to place the next container right beside here. So for our this parent container, make sure to give its direction to row. Now inside each of these containers, we need to take two separate containers. One for creating our main card and another for holding the three images. So let's take an, another container inside that. Okay, but we can see a lot of padding generated here. So we need to remove all of them and make the gaps zero for these containers. Now inside this let's add an heading widget and duplicate this. Make the first one to our number and the second one is the name of this item. Let's quickly design them and add some background colors. And here for this first setting let's reduce its width to 50%. Right now just keep it like that. We will later fix that corner with our custom code. So after that let's create an another container for the images and drag it to right at this place before this container give it a width 600 pixel and instead that let's add an image widget upload an image and here if you want to make this whole card a link you can also put that link from that url option from the style let's also set a height and width 200 by 200 pixel and also make the object fit cover to maintain the aspect ratio. And initially I want to place this image at the middle of this container. So from here make its position to absolute and from the left make this offset 50%. And also from this transform make this X offset to minus 50%. Also make this scale to 0.3 and also for this parent container we also need to make its position to absolute and from the top make it to 50% and also make this transform value this offset y minus 50%. Now let's duplicate this image widget and create our other images. Now finally for our this container we need to make some negative margin at the bottom so that our next card will pull above this card and hide these gaps. And let's also add a class here mdw hover effect 144 card and with this container, let's add mdw hover effect 144 text. Now before duplicating this, I want to check it for the other devices because I also want to duplicate the responsive styles. So here on tablet, first of all we need to adjust the heading and their paddings and also reduce the size of these three images and also reduce the size of this container. And for this container, instead of 50% width, we will make it to full 100% and I want to place all the items here vertically. So for this container, also make sure to give the direction to column. Okay, and lastly check it on mobile. And here let's increase the width of this heading widget, 70%. And also for this container, 
keep its width again to 360 pixel. Now back to the desktop and here to create an another card we need to just duplicate this container and to create multiple rows we need to duplicate this whole container. So we have changed the content and also add some different background colors for some of these headings. Now here for this one, for this container increase its width to 62% and for the first one 38%. Now finally to achieve the inference animation, let's go to this parent container and with this one we need to add an inference animation. So make it to fade in and let's also place it at the bottom of this section. So for this container, make the justify content to space between. And lastly it's time to add the classes. So with this container, let's add the class name mdw hover effect 144 and with this container, this another class. Then to add the code snippet, let's search for an HTML widget and drag it to here right before this container and paste the code snippet. Here I will give all the code snippet to my website. So from here you just need to copy and paste that. Okay, now we can see this inference animation and also this hover effect is perfectly working. And here during hover, you can see the other elements get disabled. So you can also change the disabled background color and the text color from the CSS options. So now it's okay for the desktop. Finally, let's check it for the other devices. So here on tablet, the bottom section is already responsive. We just need to fix the top part. So for this container, we are make the direction to column and align items to start. And also adjust the other thing to fix the design. And also for all this top container, here you don't need this minimum height. So make it to zero. Finally go to the mobile and here it also looks good. So that's how you can create this card hover effect on your element website. If you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.